Should we start with the obvious? Yep. The elephant in the room. Um, Tony, it's, it's 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 been a big a big fine you you're facing. Um, what do you what do you want to say about it? Now, obviously, you know, I've got to bite my tongue a little bit at the moment. Um, I'm really disappointed. Disappointed with the with the outcome. Um, obviously, strenuously deny what has been said, um, but it's been done. So you, you know, I have to move on, and, and and we have to move on. I had ten fantastic months at Crystal Palace. Uh, the first game I uh, I went and watched was at Hull. I think they had three games, uh, three points from eleven games, and then that season we finished eleventh in the league. Um, fantastic achievement. The players were brilliant. The supporters were fantastic, and it's a great, um, me great memories for me. And no one will take, and nothing will take that away from me. Uh, but I have to move on. You know, I've got a massive job here, a job that I'm enjoying. Um, we're flying at the moment. We've had a real good run. Uh, there's plenty of confidence around the place. Supporters are enjoying it, which is really good as well. And that's, you know, that's important. One day, and it can't be now, but one day, hopefully, I'll get the chance and the opportunity to actually pick this through with everybody. The hardest thing for you and for West Brom's fans must be to, to hear the judge the, the, the courts questioning your integrity in football, Tony. What well, I, I know a lot of people, um, friends, family, people in this room, and other people, and you know, I let them judge my integrity and my character. And like I say, I can't say too much. I've been advised by lawyers not to say too much at this present moment, but they'll come at all. Does that mean you might still continue the process? Might you still appeal it? No, I, I, that's all I want to say at the moment, okay, Rob. Fair enough. And then we go on. Let's move on. Yeah, Let's move on to football on West Bromwich Albion, which is much more important to me. Going well there. No, they've done brilliant. And we got, uh, you know, we've had a week where Chadley's fit. You know, he's worked hard. He's come back into the group. Um, so I've got uh, selection problems for tomorrow, which is brilliant. And selection problems in areas which... You know, maybe a month back, or you know, we didn't have enough in those areas. So to 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 have it spun round the way it spun round is uh, is really good for me. Seven points out of the last nine, ninth in the Premier League. Um, that's a heck of an achievement, isn't it? To be well, we we you know, it's it's still very very early. You know, in the season, we have a very tough game against Watford. Watford have had a, a great run of results. Um, obviously, their, their, their disappointment, there was a disappointment for them last week. So I'm expecting a, a reaction. We're expecting a reaction. You know, I have uh, you know, a lot of respect for the players at that football club. And, you know, I think Dean Iagallo and, and Kapui and uh, the likes have, have, have been exceptional and were last year and have started well this year. So it'll be a tough game. Um, they are one point in one place above you, though. And if you get a result... Then you climb even higher up the table. Well, we we, it, we we need a performance, and and to carry on the performance that you know, that, that we've put in at Leicester at home to Burnley, and first half at Hull where I thought we played really really well, and that's you know they're, they're the standards that have been set, and we hope and pray that we can uh, we can maintain those those standards and that consistency. I think the big thing for for a lot of clubs in the uh, in the in the Premiership outside the top six maybe is that consistent level and that consistency from your team and uh, we're hoping that uh, you know we can maintain that and, and pick up points along the way Let me ask you about Gareth McCauley he's 37 on Monday he's ever present for you this season including the cup where he played 120 minutes yeah. scores against Hull for you four goals this season he's just had this one year extension could you extend it even further can he go on forever? Well I think we've got to get him tested Rob uh, it's and incredible. And it incredible, find out it? what he's made of um, because he's been exceptional. Not not just he's not not just a player as well. He's a wonderful lad, fantastic character around the place. Everybody likes him. Um, you know he's quiet, very unassuming. Um, he's a pleasure to work with. Pleasure pleasure to work with. How Robson Carney hasn't had a start for you yet. Already a fan's favourite. What, he's, what's, what's, he's, he's, he he's done very well. He's come off the 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 bench in the last three or four games have done really well for us but Solomon has has been exceptional so Solomon has really played well and, and you know we're you know we're hoping when that time comes for Robson that um, and he, you know, he gets his chance that he takes it as a sub coming off the bench he's been exceptional he's been very very good for us 
Um, I think you said to the club website that you've got some exciting transfer targets, which has got all the West Brom fans excited. What, what are you thinking? It might be one or two, and might they be big names, big money? Tony? Well, it's, it's not that. It's just I, I think it's just trying to find players that will better, as I've said, not not we, we must cherry pick a lot better than what we've done over the past, I think. And, and when we do sign players, try and get players in who are of the standard that or better than what we've got to improve the group. And that's what we're trying to do. And you know, the, the, the point is that we're looking at players, whether we can bring them in or not, Rob. That's another. That's another matter. Um, looking at your fixture list, I know you don't look too. Don't far. tell me about uh, the fixture list. <laughs> you know, we, we've had one run of those games. I know what's coming. I know what's coming round the corner. Do you so. say that to the player though? Do you say, look, no, I, not at all. Big I, time for us. We've I, got to get some points here. I, you know, I spoke to uh, to John. I think yesterday, John Williams yesterday, and he was talking about the, you know, the games coming up. But they're not games that you should be negative about. You know, we're we're in the greatest league in the world, and going to Chelsea's, the Arsenal's, and places like that, you know, that should excite people. You know, and 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 make them look forward to to wanting to pit their wits against these clubs. Okay, there's a, a massive imbalance in respect of what they've got to what we've got, but I think people understand that. So they're games that you should enjoy, games you should look forward to. Team news? Anybody struggling that we don't know about? Um, yeah, Solomon went home yesterday with a little bit of. Uh, we thought it was, or the doc thinks a little bit of tonsillitis, so we'll have to wait and see today how he turns up. Um, but yeah, he's, I don't think you're going to stop Solomon at the moment from playing. I'll, I'll be very surprised if he's not.